What's up guys, what's going on? Dank back again, and today we're gonna to be talking about the inventory portion of the home screen, and we're just gonna jump right on in. Starting off, we're gonna hit the accessories, and uh, like the last video, I'll gloss over just a few things that I touched on earlier, but just to kind of keep it refreshed. There's a few ways to get accessories, the main ones being events and login rewards. You'll be able to acquire these tickets through lottery rewards, order rewards, and of course the login rewards. You'll then take those tickets and go to the shop slash summon screen, and then you'll be able to actually summon the accessories using those tickets. And of course, if you watched the previous video, there are different kinds of accessory tickets. So keep in mind that you, you know, if, if you're looking for the higher tier accessories, you wanna try and farm the events that drop the higher tier accessory tickets. That way you're almost ensuring yourself a better chance at a better accessory. But moving on from that, you have the strengthening portion and strengthening is just making sure that you get your accessories up to the level cap. Each tier of accessory has a level cap, one stars, two stars, three stars, four stars, and five stars. I believe one stars and two stars cap out at level 20, three stars are level 30, four stars are level 40, and five stars are level 50. You can use these power hearts that you see on the screen, or you can use one, two, three, four star accessories to power up your higher tier ones if you want. But just keep in mind, if you don't have a whole bunch as a kind of a stockpile, I wouldn't recommend using three or four star accessories. Stick with the power hearts. Stick with the uh, with the one or two star accessories. Don't don't waste your you know higher tier accessories because you can always re-roll those three and four star accessories into you know different ones, or you can use your four star accessories to turn into five stars and then re-roll your already made five star accessories secondary stat into something new. You can obtain power hearts through events, lottery rewards, uh, your daily, weekly orders. So definitely keep an eye out on ways to farm those. Moving on to the fusions. Fusions are the portion of the game where you're going to be taking your different tiered accessories, combining them, and then making something better. Now you can take two one stars and make a two star. You can take two two stars and make a three star two three stars into a four star, but you cannot fuse two four stars into a five. What you can do to get five star accessories is you can use books of secrets and evolution powders to upgrade four star accessories to the same type of five star accessory. For instance, if you happen to have a red four star captain's cloak, you would have a book and 10 evolution powders. Once you would fuse those together, you would get a red five star captain's cloak now remember that the accessory will never change color it will never change accessory types the only thing that will change is the addition of a secondary stat all five star accessories have a secondary stat and that's kind of the segue into the second effect portion of the inventory whereas you can use these brushes you can use other five-star accessories that may have a crappy secondary effect, and you can then re-roll these secondary effects on your you know, sought-after accessories. And uh, the editing brushes randomly generate another secondary stat, as well as using five-star accessory fodder to re-roll secondary stats. Now, remember, you will have to choose between the original stat that is already on the item and then the newly rolled one. For example, if you happen to, let's say, let's take that red captain's cloak. So if you happen to have that five-star red captain's cloak and it might have, say, 6% attack on it, if you wanted to go for spiritual pressure, you would have to use either these editing brushes or a, a non-essential five-star accessory as fodder to essentially get another one of those six stats being attack defense focus spiritual pressure stamina and all stats now keep in mind that you once you you know replace a stat there's no way to go back to it so you know just be sure that you're kind of planning ahead whenever you're re-rolling your accessories because you don't want to be you know out in the cold when you happen to want to roll a, a, a very strong sp based character or a spiritual pressure based character and you happen to roll your top tier accessories with attack now attack does affect strong attacks 
but spiritual pressure does way more for strong attacks. Just you know, keep, keep those kind of things in mind. And of course, in a later video, I'll go more in depth into accessories and re-rolling and just getting into the thick of it. So we'll move on over to the character part. This is where your characters are. You'll be able to you know, clean out space. If you happen to be full on inventory space, you can quickly just jump right into the character details so you can start powering up their soul tree or augmenting them just very quickly from this screen. So that that's you know a good place to start if you're if you're a new character. There there is the edit screen and that's for kind of quickly adjusting your teams or kind of quickly getting the characters augmented that you're looking to level up. But th this is, like, just for the sake of this video, we're just going to stick with the inventory screen itself. With materials, materials are going to be the items that you're going to use to power up your characters. You can use them to power up the soul trees from advancing them from level 156 star to level 206 star. Like th there's a lot of things that you're going to be needing to get your characters to the highest level. Crystals, jewels, droplets, potions, hogyokus, and hogyokus wills are all part of powering up characters. They are acquired nearly through all the content in the game. Crystals and jewels are primarily the ones that you're going to be getting at the end of a run. And with uh, droplets, potions, hogyokus, and hogyokus wills being more of a kind of, you have to seek out the actual event to farm those. The training grounds are great single player events to farm crystals, jewels, and coins, especially with the X2 bonus. Now the X2 bonus is a kind of special, maybe about once a week per month type of deal. Sometimes more if there's a special celebration going on, but more often than not, there will be an X2 at least once a month. Now this is going to be the best time to just grind out a whole bunch of crystals, jewels, and coins because you don't want to have a much more sought after event that maybe drops high tier summon tickets or just you know good good items you don't want to be wasting your tickets on farming crystals and jewels you want to be farming these good good events droplets and potions are the end game materials that will drop in various modes raids drop droplets inheritance zone drops potions and droplets and of course the droplet zone itself drops droplets well that's a lot of drops but uh, just keep an eye out on your on your stock of things. If you notice yourself starting to get low, then of course, you know, you want to keep a lot of these things topped up, especially the attack, stamina, and spiritual pressure based crystals and jewels. Most characters will use those in a, in a large amount. The defense crystals and jewels and focus crystals and jewels aren't necessarily the primary ones, but more often for niche characters or characters with niche style secondary or not secondary links, stat links, soul links rather, sorry, you'll, you'll want to have a good stock of those because again, you don't want to be wasting your tickets farming crystals when you could be farming other things. And the last little bit here for the Hogyokus. Now these Hogyokus are what you're going to need to upgrade a five star character to six stars. Uh, maxing out characters soul tree to 100% before you can actually awaken the character is a must. So you definitely, like I said previously, you want to keep a good stock of crystals and jewels ready so that you don't have to waste time and basically, you know, keep the character that you want to play from being at its highest strength. Standard characters require three X Hogyokus to awaken. Freely obtained characters from metal exchanges, event rewards, order rewards require five Hogyokus to awaken. Now you only need Hogyokus and Hogyokus wills for five star characters. One, two, three, and four star characters do not require anything like that. Although, you know, if, if you want to be a full completionist, then feel free to use crystals and jewels on characters that aren't four stars or, or that aren't five stars. But for the most part, you will rarely ever use crystals and jewels on the lower tier characters, and you'll mainly be saving them just for the uh, five and six star characters. Hogyoku's wills are necessary to upgrade a six star level 150 character to a six star level 200 character. And again, same as the regular Hogyoku's, standard characters need three, freely obtained need five. So if you're 
you know, looking to get a metal exchange character, just be sure you have enough Hogyokus and wills to be able to power them up before you start dumping a whole bunch of materials into them. And then lastly for the video, we're gonna holler at the friend screen real quick. Now the friend screen is pretty basic. You have your actual friends list, you have the social network that you can connect to, Facebook being the main one, as well as the KLab ID. And then of course you have your accept slash cancel screen for whenever you have people wanting to be your friend or you searching for other players to be friends. And then of course at the very back here, you have the search screen. Now you can search players by name you can search by their id and if you still need some friends guys add me add me i'm looking to try and get as 100 friends as soon as possible just to get those friend points rolling in so if you're looking for somebody to to add to your list there you go hit me up holler at me trying to get them friend points man you definitely want to get your friend points you know, very stocked up because the Cones Corner in the shop is a amazing way of acquiring endgame materials, especially when you don't feel like going to farm the events specifically. Also, you will get rewards for numbers of friends and linking your social network. So in case you get 25, 50, 75, and 100 friends, you'll get a nice little order reward. And if you happen to link your Facebook or Caleb ID to the game, you will also get rewarded for that. And like I was just saying, add me, man. I need those friend points. So let, let me know if, if you guys do need any more you know, last little friend bits to, to cap out at the 100. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. So without giving this video too super long, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. And with the next video, we'll jump right into the actual gameplay. We'll be doing, we'll talk about the quests, talk about different events, talk about just everything that you pretty much will be doing on day to day basis. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. I really do appreciate the, uh, the support and everything through the channel, guys. So if you're liking what I'm doing, hit that like button, throw me down a comment down there. If you wanna see something else, let me know as well. I'm always interested to do more content that you guys are looking for. So again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, guys, later.